Yo, yo, yo! What's good? What's good? <clears throat> this your boy AJ of the Deep Thought. I'm back at it again, once again. <laughs> yes, sir. This your boy AJ, man. I'm back at it for a brand new video. I ain't finna waste no time with it, so let's get it. As y'all know by now, Sean Diddy Puffy Combs, y'all know who it is. All three of his properties, all of his cribs in Miami, in LA, and in New York have been seized and raided by the federal government. They saying Homeland Security, they also was a part of the raid. As we all know, Diddy has been in speculation when it pertains to human child sex trafficking for a minute. We've been hearing this ever since Diddy has paid that money to Cassie. Even before then, we was hearing it. But now, it's gotten to a point where it ain't looking too pretty for Diddy. <laughs> not trying to laugh at the situation i'm just saying man like this is not looking good for sean diddy combs and it has been a it has been reports that sean puffy has left the country they got video of sean combs hours before the raids came leaving to get ready to leave the country I don't know where he was. I don't know what airport he was at, but that's what they were saying. That's what the story is saying. We finna check out some of the story detaining of Sean Combs. As of now, they had seized all of his properties. They had confiscated all of his devices. So we finna read about, we finna actually watch that video. Always remember, everything that I do and use is under the act of the fair use. So, we finna check this out real quick, man. I ain't finna waste no time with it. Let's get it. Reaction is coming in after federal agents raided the homes of Sean Diddy Combs. Sources say it's part of a trafficking investigation into the music mogul. Eyewitness News reporter Darla Miles is following developments from the newsroom. Darla. Well, Lauren, this investigation is being led by the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York here uh, in Lower Manhattan. And we've just learned that they've been interviewing alleged victims and witnesses for the last few months. Combs was in Miami at the time of the raid and is cooperating with this investigation. Homeland Security agents seizing electronics from the Miami and Los Angeles homes of Sean Diddy Combs and simultaneous cross-country raids executed Monday afternoon. This chopper video shows federal agents loading up cardboard box after cardboard box into vehicles. Also seen from above, SWAT teams and agents with long guns. So I think what's happening here is we're looking for the laptops, we're looking for all that information, but we're also looking to try to corroborate any of the allegations that we've seen in these civil lawsuits. While no criminal charges have been filed against the 54-year-old, a federal investigation has been underway for several months into alleged human trafficking. He's recently been the subject of several civil lawsuits, the music mogul accused of sex trafficking and abuse, allegations he vehemently denies. In an Instagram post pinned at the top of his ex feed, he says, enough is enough, saying sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not not do any of the awful things being alleged. That's what your mouth say, Diddy. But he is right. Everything is alleged, so we really don't know what's going on. But if you got a brain and you got your own self thinking and you can think for self, you already know what's going on. Like, like I said, these rumors have been going on for years. So it ain't nothing new. They just finally coming into the forefront now. That's all. Everything is coming into the forefront. Cat Williams has Cat Williams said it best. All lies will be exposed in 2024. What you looking at is phase one of what's about to come down the pipeline. 
I get deeper into that as this story goes on. So let's get back into it. In November, Diddy settled a lawsuit with his ex-girlfriend of 10 years, Cassie Ventura, just one day after she filed an explosive civil lawsuit under the New York Survivors Act for $30 million. Upon hearing the news about the federal search warrants executed Monday at both homes, her attorney released a statement saying, hopefully this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his depraved conduct. And the allegations made in these civil lawsuits by Ventura and others is what has triggered this federal investigation. And at this point, it is unclear if he has a home here in New York City that might be a part of this probe. So that's basically it as far as what we know right now of Sean Combs and all that good stuff. Like I said before. Everything that is being shown and seen before our very eyes is not nothing new. The same thing that happened to Bill Cosby, the same thing that happened to R. Kelly, it's the same thing that's happening to Sean Combs. The only difference is they finna destroy Sean Combs. They finna destroy Sean Puffy Combs. They is fin to end him. They is about to end this man. You feel me? They is about to destroy everything you knew about Sean Combs. Like I said, a lot of things have been said in about the last, what, 10 months, 11 months? Like I said, before then, things were being said back in the day. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, when you got the money and the power, ain't nobody going to pay attention to you. But like I always say in this channel, these people, the industry, they control everything. So once you piss one, once you piss off the wrong person, that's when your life gets destroyed. And this is and, th and that's and this is why everything is happening to Sean Combs. His life and career is being destroyed and being drilled through the mud because when you go against them people that made you, they going to always give you a wake-up call. That's real talk. When you go against them people that made you, that put you in position, best believe they is going to give your ass the wake-up call of your life. And they is going to destroy you with every inch of your life because that's the game. No matter who it is. And I promise you, Sean Diddy Combs is not the only one. He, he is the one they is targeted, but he is not the only one. There are others. And best believe them others are about to get exposed too, right out the woodwork. I promise you they is. The next video, we finna check out from um, MTR. Shout out to the brother MTR, Mediocre Takeouts. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to that brother and reactions. Let's check this video out. Yeah. Mr. Lee. We're, yeah, we're, I love this drink. Will you put my bag I like when you like this, daddy. Yeah, yeah, will you put my bag Daddy, yeah. I like You see what I'm saying? Like, Diddy has been known for the most outlandish bullshit forever. So this is not a coincidence that everything is happening and everything is crumbling around him. This is not nothing new. Yeah, Mr. Lee. We're, yeah, we're, I love this drink. Will you put my bag? I like yeah. when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, will you put my you bag? see this yeah, shit? I like when you, when oh, you right scrambling right and scraping. Look how Jada Kiss and Fabulous looking at. <laughs> look at and, and y'all know this is a old. This is an old ass interview. This from years ago. <laughs> No, 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 I, got I like that. Shit. You know, I'll be practicing. I got to yeah. I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, when you put my bag Daddy, I like when you, when you scrambling and scraping. When you scrambling and scraping for shit. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Just blow it out. It's your birthday every day. Every day is a birthday on Drink okay. Champs, God damn it. I'm in. Where I look, did you look back me? on where I became. Mm. Did you miss me, though? Mm. For real, because we... I'm saying miss, it seems like a thing. I miss his birthday with party, Puff, man. man I miss but I'm talking about for your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? 
I, we we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. And, mm. No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, bro. Breaking news. I'm telling you, bro. Everything that P. Diddy has done in his life is falling before his very eyes. Everything you can think of is crumbling before his very eyes. He is not going to be ready to run. He is not. He is not going to be able to run away from this situation. Even if he does get out the country, he is not going to be able to run to run away. They got him where they want him. Like it, it, it's it's obvious, man. Right now, we're following the Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs, the rapper and music executive, perhaps being linked to a sex trafficking investigation. He got some shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information from. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say, less than 10 minutes ago. We got here even before the crime scene tape came up. So uh, we're just down the hill. If you look up the street where Tony is right now to the right, you'll see one of those Bearcats and law enforcement. And on the other side of those bushes, basically, is that home that is registered to Bad Boy Films, which is part of Bad Boy Entertainment. And the home in particular is registered not only to Bad Boy Films, but to one of P. Diddy's daughters. They are heavily armed and uh, they've been very tactful. Would probably be the best word to use as they uh, made entry into this home uh, this afternoon. We actually watched them as they made through their made their way through one of these uh, side gates, and as soon as they got inside the home, one of the things, the first things they did was made their way into this garage that you see is open right there. Now, they did take a couple people into custody. We witnessed that. Now, are they under arrest? Are they just being uh, asked about what they know? I want to say this before I wrap up the video or whatever the case may be. And it kind of correlates to this situation. When I first started YouTube, when I first started making videos, I made a video about R. Kelly right after they arrested R. Kelly and they gave him 30 years for, you know, for the, for the trafficking and all this stuff. And I said this. And I said that in that video, R. Kelly is not the only one they need to get. There are many others who are behind the scenes that allow these things to happen, that got away with it. But again, like I said, you get the big fish, but you got to get the small fishes that was around them because they was the ones that was setting things up. It's the same thing for Sean Combs. You get the big fish, yes, but always remember, there's people around him that allow things to happen, that saw things, that that saw the ins and the outs of what was going on when Diddy was having the freak offs, when Diddy was doing those sick things towards different people, and all these and all the things that's going on. I hope they learn from that get everybody don't just get sean puffy combs and think all is okay get everybody because there are more people who are connected to this that we know there are way more people that is connected i get deep in that in a minute Let's get it. That I can't answer, but I can tell you there's three people right there that were taken into custody were, were inside that home at the time of the raid. We Bearcats, body armors, rifles. Diddy is done. Diddy is finished. You got to think for one of his homes. This is not his actual home that he lives in, but for one of his homes, which is currently registered with his Daughter, it sounds like it sounds like it's like Diddy Films Homes, you know, a studio probably where they do movies and stuff like that, maybe music videos. That's what they've come in there with. 
holy moly. It makes me think what they know that maybe is not released to the public yet, that they want to do this type of raid with that type of artillery, that type of force on his property. By the way, I may have to block out the people being arrested, but two of the men that were arrested were Diddy's sons. To think that the things that you were involved with would have such a impact on your family represents the importance of being a father and making the correct decisions in life. Did see a bunch of investigators going in, making the raid in there and clearing that as well. So they're gonna do a thorough search as they conduct this raid. And so far, Stu, from what I understand and from Haley on the ground there, they have not seen, and we have not seen from our vantage point, any sign of Sean Combs, the 54 year old, who is believed to be the property owner of this puffy 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 you stupid ass i told you stop fucking with r kelly i said grab them in the pussy don't kidnap the pussy they raided your shit i see i got a courtesy call when they raided my house you really fucked up up my n can i get a copy of the meek mill what the hell what the hell is this let me fast forward that. That ain't got nothing to do with me. These reports, and I thought it was bullshit. If Diddy knew that the police were going to raid his home, why would he have his... Verdi has no... The Antigua. His... Antigua. Can I get a copy of the Meek Mill sex tape? Please, nigga. Since the footage of that raid, it's been rumored that Diddy flew the coop to Antigua, of all places. So this is actually a leaked footage of Diddy's private jet called Love Air. <laughs> grounded in antigua his travel is now restricted to the caribbean isle with other people such as 50 cent posting on his page that he was on his way to cape verde and cape verde has no extradition treaty with the u.s now while possible i saw these reports and i thought it was bullshit if diddy knew that the police were going to raid his home why would he have his sons in the house but Shit, this is Diddy now that we're talking about. Maybe he would sacrifice his family there to hold them there longer for him to escape. But alas, Diddy was found pacing around Opalaka Airport in Miami several hours after the raids on his home. Yeah, he was in Miami. That, my bad, he was in Miami when they filmed him right here. I guess you wonder what's going to happen next, Diddy. I know. You got on some blue Sean John sweats. The nerve of you. So this footage was actually taken outside of the customs desk. They stopped him before he was able to board his flight. These uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. All lies will be exposed. That's all. And anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. You know it then. Diddy or whoever you is. All lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone. I had to run that bet one more time, man. All lies will be exposed in 2024. But i like to know how far would they go. Because I promise you, on everything I love, as God is my witness, there are way more people than Diddy that you need to pay attention to. Diddy is like this inch. It's like this piece of the puzzle. He, his puzzle is about this small. There's so many big-time players. Oh, the rabbit hole gets deeper. Trust me when I say that. The rabbit hole gets deeper. Let's continue with the video. Who takes that the wrong way? Know why they take it the wrong way. You'll know it then. Did you make the right decision leaving rap? I did. Everything now that we see playing out was all the things I escaped. You begin to understand now why Mace became Pastor Mace. The car, the, the shine. The loan, the Puff Daddy, Craig every, Mac. the Craig Mac, the Biggie Smalls, the Biggie Smalls. So even though I made those decisions and it cost me money, that's why I got with Killer and they gave me the money back. Mm. I didn't lose no money. It's destiny. 
<laughs> that boy good. That boy good. <laughs> that boy good. That boy good. That boy good. That boy good. Nigga, nigga yeah. said, and that's why he makes the big bucks. That's why he makes the big bucks. <laughs> big bucks. That, that was crazy. Yo, I couldn't have planned that. You asked me, see, that's why Destiny, you asked me the right question, and we at the right place. This is how it's meant to go, man. That's what I do, baby. <laughs> thank you, like killer. Yeah, likewise, <laughs> thank man. Thank you, killer. Man, thank you, On man. national TV, yeah. thank you, killer. And thank you too, Murder. I appreciate it, bro. I think it's powerful to hear Mace articulate it like that because oftentimes on this channel, we go over the short-term gratification or selling yourself for the money to be utilized as a pawn for the destructive nature of whatever capitalistic good that is being sold onto others without the correct information or the Thanks. discipline within their family to obstruct from this debauchery that is marketed to us. And to have him sit back and just articulate after all of these years that because of his decisions, he's better now with himself within his soul than he would have been if he kept on going down that path. Chef's kiss. Getting hit with a freako in 2024 is crazy. Getting hit with a freako in 2024 is crazy. Nine times out of ten, I don't wish jail on nobody. I swear freako. to God, I really don't. I don't have nothing against Diddy, his kids, nothing. I just gotta say it though. A freako as well. You like I never seen a freako indictment. For the feds to pull up and say, yo, you are too freaky for society. Come with me is unbelievably outrageous. Ninja ran off and left the kids in the whole shit. <laughs> yo, he doing the race and said, F it. Yo, 50 is a savage. I'm going to say this here about 50 Cent. 50 Cent better watch his mouth. They can come for you too. That's all I got to say about it. Let's get it. A freak and the up. fact that you wasn't even at the crib, that let me know what it is. Like, you knew they was coming. <laughs> Being too freaky for society is wild. Like, it's I know wild. R. Kelly is like, see, see. And now, as you guys would expect, Twitter, the <laughs> internet is going crazy and bringing up even more clips that you probably have never seen before. Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um. As you remember, me and my homie, Jeremy Speaks TTV, shout out to my partner, shout out to my homie. We did a video about Diddy and the whole Meat Mill situation, but we also were speaking on Meat. Not only were we just speaking on Meat Mill and Diddy, but we also spoke about Justin Bieber around um, Diddy. As you can see, Diddy was literally 40 years old, and Justin Bieber was, a, was I say, about 15 years old at this time. He hanging out with a 15-year-old like that's his son. That ain't your son, so why is you hanging around this man like that? Seriously. But I'm going to get deep into that, too. They're having the times of their lives, like, like, like the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose, but, um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. Look at, um, look at Justin. You know, I, I, I have been deer in headlights. Mind you, Diddy is 40 years old in this and Justin is 15. Given custody of him, you know, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. We're going to get into that in a quick second. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, and, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. Going crazy. Going buck full crazy is huh? wild in this new context. To me, this looks like a smile of grooming. And if I was to make a prediction, I think Justin Bieber in the next several weeks to month is gonna come out with his own Diddy story, unfortunately. And it kind of puts his career into context, why being exposed to people like this had him abruptly end his career to focus on his mental health. Yeah, so as soon as you turn 16, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you rock this every time you come in LA. Yeah, this will be yours. So, 
Oh, yeah, it's a little dusty, but you know. Who's the front shot in Man. Minute. Okay. Okay. All right, so so I'm going to be driving this yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, when you... And I want to say this here. I only feel, I feel sorry for the people who became victims of this. For anyone that got caught up in this, the victims, the ones who didn't ask for this, them the ones I feel sorry for. I feel so sorry and feel bad for them. Because there's a lot of, so many people of who want to be a part of this industry do not understand how this game really goes. And understand that no matter what you do, it, it, it it's always a cost. Everything is a cost when it comes to this industry. Nothing is free. Everything is for sale. Always remember that. You get 16, you come down and you gotta, you know, wear your seat. I mean, I'm 15, you can ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit. Now that, not yet. You can just see the youth within Justin. He doesn't yet understand that gifts don't come free. They're really truly not gifts when you're Facts. caught in this type of a lifestyle. This is a loan to be paid back with interest. No. Right. No, 16. No, no, no. Slow right. down. Let's slow down, Justin. Okay. Let's okay. slow down. Okay. But yeah, yeah, the keys is yours when you, you know, when you get 16. You're All good right. to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. And then, when you get 18, you get the house. You get the mansion. Okay. Oh, God. So, where, where, where are we off to now? Where would you like to go? Um, I mean, wherever you want to go. Where, where are we going? 50 Cent tried to tell y'all not to accept gifts from Diddy. The puff was like, yeah, like, first he was amping him to, to right. get... Stop. Then he was like, yo, he's like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like, we can just hang out, nigga, we gotta, we gotta Hold kick that. it. This is Puff. Okay. He's telling me we gotta kick it and shit, and he was like, yo, why don't we, like, go shopping or some shit? I mean, like, I pay for it, and I was like, what the fuck this nigga just said? <laughs> <laughs> I got the fuck away from him, because I was like, this nigga just tell me he take me shopping. This is shit that goes on. And from there, I can end the video. Shout out to the brother MTR for this video. I will leave the link down in the bottom of the description below so y'all can check it out. Let me go and wrap this up, man. And I want to say this here. Even though we is looking at the fall of a mogul, some would say an icon. But at the end of the day, is your soul worth it? Is your soul worth doing the things that Diddy is being allegedly blamed of doing and being able to sleep better at night? I say that because, like I said before, Diddy is not the only one. He's only one piece of the puzzle. There's so many people that is connected that have been victims of Diddy, who had helped Diddy, who was a part of what Diddy was doing, and, the, and everyone else who separated themselves from him. You're going to see a whole lot of separation in these coming weeks. I promise you that. You finna see a whole lot of separation. And, and like I said before, I only feel sorry for the victims who got caught up under the wrath of Sean Diddy Combs and everything that has been said that he's done for years. You know what I'm saying? So. If I said it once, I'm going to say it again. Is it worth selling your soul just so you can be able to live this so-called lifestyle? You know what I'm saying? It says in the Bible, would it profit a man? Now, like I said, I don't know the scripture as well. Y'all can look it up, you know. But it says that and understand that Everything you do 
will always come back to haunt you. No matter what, everything you do comes back to haunt you. Everything comes back around. No matter what. Ain't nobody leaving the game unscathed. Especially if you're a brother in the industry. Always remember, Sean Puffy Combs and so many others are pawns of the industry, man. They did these things just so they can live these lifestyles. And I, for one, don't feel bad about the things that's that is going on today. So, yeah, man, that's the video. Shout out to the brother MTR for that video. I will leave the link down in the bottom of the description below. Also, if you want to support the deep thought, all you got to do is to hit the like button and the subscribe button. You dig me? Peace and one love.